you're this perp back with another video and this is going to be another episode of my favorite characters from the leftovers um this is a series i'll do once a month uh every month on the 14th leading up to october 14th um yeah this is just a little series i want to do you know me paying homage to one of my favorite shows of all time if not my favorite show of all time and we're going to be talking about the character patty levin now patty is played by anna dow you might have seen her on that hulu series the handmaid's tale or something like that or uh or seen her in other tv series um She's, she's a pretty well-known actress, I would say, within the TV space. I don't know if a lot of people know her name. I don't know. When I was first watching this, I thought she, I was thinking of Home Alone, the chick with the birds. And I completely was wrong about that. But anyways, um, going into the pa uh, the character of Patty, um, she is a very, very interesting character. One of my favorite characters um in this series for very uh for a lot of reasons um not only does she affect a lot of characters that we follow throughout the series um she definitely gives birth to a lot of different characters you know as the series goes on and progresses that's all i'm going to say on that without spoiling it spoiling spoiling like the main um purpose for patty's existence in this series but we are first introduced to patty um when we get our first introduction to patty she is very she doesn't talk she uses this notepad um she is looked at as this cult leader um she's one of uh she is the leader of this group that you get introduced to earlier on the series or uh, in the first season called the guilty remnant now i won't spoil who the guilty remnant actually is i'll probably do another side video um explaining like the weird characters or groups of characters in the leftovers probably sometime in the future but pretty much she is the leader of this group this group doesn't talk they just smoke cigarettes and send messages to each other and whatnot but they're a very interesting group within their within uh the series themselves um very mysterious very um mischievous i should say too very um very dark shit uh very dark shit going on with that group of uh people and you over time within the series you get to sympathize with the character of patty and she plays a huge role in kevin's um in kevin's story overall um throughout the whole series now i i really don't want to spoil that because it's it's very it's it's you have to see it to believe it type of uh situation um i love i love the interaction she has with kevin it's probably one of the best interactions or you know character developments between two characters uh patty levitt and kevin garvey one of the most iconic scenes go down between these two um like i said i fuck i really love patty uh ed's portrayal of patty in this and the way she says kevin is iconic it's going to be iconic forever um really cool shit i know it's very it's very bleak description but you know cult leader plays an integral part in all, all, most of the characters that we follow throughout this series um very mysterious 
Um, I would say she definitely is one of the best antagonists I've seen in a series in a very long time. Very menacing at times. Um, but she also has a big heart, which is kind of weird for her character. Not really weird, but it's just it's different. I, I don't know how to really explain it without you guys like actually watching it but definitely go check it out man um this is my favorite ep what uh one of my favorite characters from the leftovers patty levin not too long of a video i just wanted to kind of give you a brief description or summary of about this character uh without spoiling too much because i really want you guys to go check this series out for yourself but until the next video I'll check y'all out next month. Peace. When they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther. I gotta do more than just the average man would do. I gotta set a mark that it can't nobody um, touch. The place that I won't go when I feel as though I, if you got love and you putting out real shit, you can do that. If you kicking that shit from your heart, you can go wherever your heart wants you to go. You have to be diligent about what you want. You have to apply yourself. You have to motivate yourself. And you have to do it for yourself, by yourself. And then you can do things for other people.